It is highly possible that you're using a dim date table in your Power BI model. And when you use each date field in a date slicer, you can see the data slicer shows you a full range, which is bigger than the dates in your fact table. So, what can we do to show only the valid dates? Hello everyone, Shabi is back with another interesting video and today I want to give you a useful tip. It's a common issue for many Power BI developers that when we drag a date field from a dim date table into the slicer, you can see a wider range on the date slicer. But we need to only see the valid dates on the date slicers. So stay with me up to the end of this short video and I will let you know how to solve this issue. If it's the first time you're watching my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get a notification for the new upcoming videos. Let's dive in. It's one of the best practices in Power BI to use a dim date or calendar table in your dataset. In this video, I won't talk about it, but you're usually importing your dim date from your database. So, it's highly possible that when you drag and drop the date field from this table into a slicer visual, you see a full range of dates. This happens because this range is created in database or it's the range of dates you imported into Power BI. But your fact table date range are different from this range. For example, here you can see our date table has a range between the year 2000 and 2025. But our data is available only between 2007 and 2009. So when on this slicer I filter a date less than 2003 as an example, the data on the report shown as blank or zero because we don't have any sales for that period. What we need to see on this slicer is only the valid date range. How to achieve it? Very easy by following some simple steps. So on this report, the order date is the date column we have on our fact to calculate our sales. And the date column on the dim date is our date column that we connected to order date on our data model. What we need to do is create a calculated column on dim date. So I choose dim date and create a new column and write is validate date equal to and then use the AND operator and open parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, I choose the date column from our dim date and it should be greater than or equal to the minimum of order dates in our fact. Then put a comma. And second condition, when our date column from dim date is less than or equal to the maximum of order date in fact table. That's it. What this calculated column do for us is giving a true or false result. If the date is in range, it gives us true. Otherwise, the result will be false. Now the only thing we need to do is to drag and drop this column into the filter pane on the page and choose the true value. So easy. You can see now the date range on the slicer shows only the valid date range. If you enjoyed this cool tip, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to get the notification for the new upcoming videos. Have a good day, all Power BI lovers.